Hello everyone and welcome to another video about some tips in Toon Boom. This time I'm going to talk about the difference between the envelope and the curve deformer and how obviously they are different but there's a little hidden thing in there, a little hidden trick that's useful to know about the envelope deformer and I'm going to show you that right now. So here we have a banana -na 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 -na. and this is going to just be my example artwork for applying a deformer to this and to show you the example of the differences. Like when you apply any deformer to any piece of artwork, you want to select the artwork that you want to apply the deformer to first and make sure you've got your tool properties open because when you click the rigging tool, which is this little hammer um, and like um, spanner or wrench uh, icon, if you leave your mouse over it, it will tell you rigging tool. So yours might be further along because you can customize this top bar by right clicking and removing things like file and edit to save on screen space like I do. When you click this, you'll get, by default, you'll have this little hammer here, which is the auto mode. So if you use this, if you go click, click, click with no dragging, and then it's always the transform tool down here or shift T to come out of edit mode and it goes from red to green, but a terrible deformer applying there, but that's a bone deformer, okay? Uh, delete that deformer group and then I'm going to click the rigging tool again and if instead again with the artwork selected click and drag and click and drag this auto creates a curve deformer so in the the auto mode you can auto create a bone or a curve and this one kind of has that wiggly sort of feel so this is obviously much more suited to our banana here the downside of this is going to become apparent uh, in a second because I'm going to show you the other one which we really will be using a lot and most people use so again rigging tool and this one the, to use the curve um, sorry that use the envelope deformer um, envelope mode you need to click the button and this one generally you can click around click and drag just like the curve deformer and um, you can click and drag and then if you were to hold alt and then click it would close the envelope okay so that's a handy little thing you can close it down um, and then holding down alt or option on a Mac will isolate these handles as well so I want this one to be maybe facing like this a um, bit of an experimental setup there but uh, you will basically be able to kind of manipulate things and move them around like it's got a, an envelope around the shape but if I click the drawing and then click the rigging tool again, still in envelope mode. But this time I'm going to click and drag just like a curve deformer down the center and then click the transform tool or shift T to exit edit mode. So it looks exactly like a curve deformer. There's one main benefit on this one and that's because all of these points, they will move everything you after the first one you create in the curve deformer, um, they'll move just independently. And on the envelope tool used like a curve deformer, which uh, Z, uh, Z Bird Brain, uh, coined the term curvelope. I've not heard anybody else use this term, so I'm going to attribute it to her. I'll, I'll link to her channel as well in the description. She was saying the other day that she calls it curvelope, and I think that's a great term for it because basically it's like using a curve deformer but with the envelope. And it is superior because you can move this point. Now, let me show you if I create a deformer again and use the curve tool. You can also want use one of these for bone or curve. And I'm going to click and drag, click and drag. So this one works the same, but this one, it moves the whole artwork. Now this can be a pain in the behind because it moves the artwork on the page or on the kind of like as though you've drawn it in a different place on the page. If you were to have a peg above this, and I was to set my pivot position here for some reason, whatever reason that may be. If I use this point here and move it over here, this can be dangerous because now our pivot is still over there, but our artwork is over here. So it's a bit of a weird one. Now, you know, if you're moving this point at the top and it's on an envelope, it's kind of like you just getting the pose correct using the envelope as a, or the curvelope as a, um, a curve deformer. So it's a little bit more restrictive, this method. Just in case you don't know, if you do want to reset a whole deformer as well, just select the deformer group, and you've got this little C icon up here, and that will reset everything. 
So if you selected a peg, it's uh, the letter R is to reset. And to reset a deformer, you have to have the deformer group selected. So you can you can click on the drawing and press B to move up the chain, which gives you what I call an invisible selection. And then this button becomes active. So a couple of quick tips there. But the main difference I wanted to get across to you was how um, a curved deformer and an envelope deformer can work in exactly the same way, bar that one restriction of what I call the root, um, the first point you create on the deformer, if you use a curved deformer, it moves the whole deformer chain, whereas if you use an envelope deformer, it works independently. And you've obviously always got that option if you're using envelope deformers to attach it all the way back up. So I hope that was useful to you and maybe you found a couple of nuggets of knowledge in there. Thanks for watching.